this video is only part of the actual story. There is much more to it than I share. This is not my story, but a brave soul with the guts to speak out about their experience. Opening in 1883, it continued its services for more than 100 years. For 30 years since it closed its doors to the last pupils in 1992. At least three Catholic priests have been accused of abusing children at the facility. Michael Higginbottom, once a former priest, used a belt to threaten his pupils if they were to speak of anything that happened within the walls of the seminary. There are many stories from this place, but one that stood out to me was along the lines of, I hung my girlfriend's knickers on the newly completed chapel in 1967 just to piss off Brother Elwin, because that chapel was his pride and joy and crowning achievement, and he was such a pompous, evil, conceited man. I wanted to do something to hit him where it hurt the most. His stupid pride. This is another part of the story as I can't fit everything in, but I will link the story to the description so you can read it fully. I heard a woman's voice speaking very softly and calling my name. I opened my eyes. It was Mrs. Bacon, the school nurse. I begged her, don't let any of those bastards come near me. She promised she wouldn't, and I was sure I was safe while she was there. A man in a suit turned up some time later, and I asked if he was the police. He said he was a doctor. He took the bandages off, but the gauge had stuck to my face. He tried to be gentle, but I screamed so badly. He said he would give me something for the pain. When I came round, I don't know where I was, but it was not in the school anymore that I was sure of. I was in a large, comfortable bed with my wrists tied to the iron bed head with bandages. I waited and waited. Eventually, a nurse came in and I asked, why are my wrists tied up? She explained I had an operation and it was very important that I stay lying on my back and my wrists were tied to stop me trying to scratch my face in my sleeve. The same doctor came back some time later and said he was very pleased with the operation and assured me I would only have a slight hairline scar. The last set of images are from Google, but the footage is from when we went on the Explore Ourselves. Overall, the exploration was cut short due to fences and security, but it was worth the visit.